Oh man, we got a crazy one here. Four current and former LA Sheriff's Department employees take their own lives on same day. Yeah. Four current and former employees LA Sheriff's Department take their own lives. Yeah, it's crazy. Check it out. Hell of a thing happened. Yeah, crazy. Hell of a thing has happened. Mm -hmm. Four, four, four members of the Los Angeles, Angeles Sheriff's, Sheriff's Department. Department commit suicide. Mass. Put out the picture. Okay? This story is still developing. Yeah. To be specific, one retired employee, three current members of the Los Angeles County Sheriff's Department took their own lives within a 24-hour period starting on Monday. Wow. Details surrounding the deaths remain unclear. Investigators have not noted if they believe the incidents to be connected. The Sheriff's Department is now offering resources to the impacted families, as well as confidential counseling for department personnel. Let me give you the details as we know it right now. The first death was reported around 10.30 a.m. on Monday in Valencia. That's according to a statement from the department. Two hours later, a little after 12.50 p.m., detectives were called to a second death in Lancaster. Then at 5.40 p.m., they were called again, this time to a home in Stevenson Ranch. And then at 7.30 a.m. Tuesday morning, homicide detectives were sent to a hospital in Pomona, where a current employee was also declared deceased from taking their own life as well. Uh, put up the sheriff. Robert Luna, here's a sheriff, issued a statement on the desk. Quote, our LASD family has experienced a significant amount of loss and tragedies this year. We are um, stunned to learn of these deaths, and it has sent shockwaves of emotions throughout the department as we try and cope with the loss of not just one, but four, four. beloved, active, and retired members of our department family. He continued. During trying times like these, it's important for personnel, regardless of rank or position, to check on the well-being of other colleagues and friends. I have the deepest concern for our employees' well-being, and we are urgently exploring avenues to reduce work stress factors to support our employees' work and personal lives. So rates of first responders at risk, so many studies have actually shown that some of the highest um, suicide rates in all professions uh, are among first responders. I was pointed to the FBI. 32 law enforcement officers died by suicide and nine attempted in the past year of the 32. The FBI reported 26% were actually experiencing relationship problems. 23% were suffering from depression. 19% were suffering from secondary trauma collapse, chronic illness, or post-traumatic stress disorder. The LA Sheriff's Department. Um, so the context here does matter. So while I can cite general statistics about first responders and stresses of the job, because remember, first responders also include who? People that come to your house to save your life, like in an ambulance. Yeah, right? fire, fire. Stressful job. Your friend of mine does that job every single night of her life. It is a tough job. So you cannot dismiss possible guilt. You cannot dismiss potential something else here we don't have all of the facts hell uh we don't know how they came to the conclusion that everybody simply took their own life we don't even have that on the record right now but i will tell you this for four individuals to take their own lives within a 24 hour period and they all work for the same company known as the sheriff's office that doesn't happen every day. There's some there there. All right, Mr. Mayor, um, if, if, if this happened to the police department um, under your authority as mayor, 
you would assume this is more than just a coincidence, at least initially as you looked into it. I think, I think Sheriff Luna, you're right. I think Sheriff Luna owes us more information. Um, first of all, we know the problems of the Los Angeles Sheriff Department, their gang activity. Uh, we, he should have told us there's there were no internal investigation into these four officers. These four officers never were connected. They didn't work together on anything. What are the what's the likelihood in all those statistics you name? I bet you they can't cite another case ever where four officers from the same sheriff department killed themselves within a 24-hour window. We need to know where they under investigation, where they're likely being targeted for something else, and how and who said this was of all four of these officers. That's a good point. You know, I mean. Were they uh, being investigated by internal, uh, you know, internal revenue? Was were they being good cops and they were being outed by bad cops and thrown on the bus? So they felt like there's no way to go out, but you know, just to take, unalive themselves. We don't know. I mean, I love. I'm going to dig more and deep in this and this story as well. We didn't get any of that information. I'm left thinking there are more questions than answers in this yeah. situation. And I like you. Am clearly weary of the fact that four people at the same department killed themselves on the same day within a 24-hour window. Yeah. We need more answers. We got to get more answers. Uh, the public deserves it. The families obviously deserve it. Um, if, if you're saying, well, it, they're not connected, they don't seem to be connected, how did you come to that conclusion? Explain that to people. You are a public servant. You get paid by the hardworking citizens of your local community. Uh, they deserve to know what their tax dollars are paying for. Yeah, it's like, how, how do you know they're not connected? Maybe they are. Who knows? Like I said, maybe they were good cops and they were, they were getting railroad. People were scrutinizing them. Who knows? I mean, they, I mean, four, pe four people don't just take their lives in a 24-hour period, let alone four cops as well. It's crazy. Yeah, I'm going to dig some more. There's, um, I'm going to dig into a uh, sister station up in Los Angeles around the area and, and more. I'm sure they got some more. I'll have to go to a local for that, and, uh, and I'm going to dig more into the deep and that's where, that's a matter of my job. Peace out.